Thanks a lot for watching this video. What I want to accomplish in this video is an explanation as to how your past medical history has a serious impact on the case that we're handling for you. Specifically, how your past medical history impacts the current injuries. Before I go further into this, let me explain to you how this is potentially a big problem in cases like this. Defense attorneys and adjusters win cases by finding inconsistencies in your case. One of the best areas for them to look for inconsistencies are in your medical records. I'll give you a simple example. Let's assume that you were in a car accident and you're complaining of a neck injury. Let's assume that that neck injury is a herniated disc. The defense attorney, the adjuster, are going to be looking at your prior medical history for any references, any prior references to any type of similar complaint, any neck complaint. And remember, they're not going to be fair about it. They're not going to give you the benefit of the doubt. If you told a doctor 10 years ago that you had a neck pain, but it was simply because you woke up on the wrong side of the bed and you had a temporary neck pain, they're not going to give you the benefit of that. They're going to make that something bigger than it actually is. They're going to blow it out of proportion and, and argue that you had this extensive history of neck pain. So it's very important that we handle those types of issues precisely. And, and the, the best instruction I can give you is this. Make sure that when you're seeing your doctors, all of the treating doctors, that you were seeing for the injuries that we're representing you for, you are giving them all an absolutely accurate, 100% accurate medical history. And what you can do is actually make a list of all your prior complaints and then read those to the doctors that you're seeing so you're telling all of the doctors the same thing. Going back to our prior example, if you were to forget about a prior neck problem and you were to tell one of your current treating doctors that you had no prior neck complaints and that doctor writes in the report that you told them that there were no prior neck complaints and then the adjuster finds a entry in a prior medical record where you did in fact have neck complaints they're going to use that against you and sometimes it can be fatal to your case very damaging there's a simple way to handle that, and I mentioned that before. Make sure that you think about your prior medical history. Write your prior medical history down and be accurate when you're describing your prior medical history to all of your doctors. So your current doctors will write in the report that you did have a prior neck complaint, but it resolved, and now your new neck complaint is related to the incident that we're representing you for. If you are unsure about whether you had a prior neck complaint. Make sure you're telling the doctors that you're not sure about it. They need to look at your prior medical records. So at least that gives me an opportunity to argue later on in your case that the doctor's opinion is based on what your prior medical records show rather than me trying to explain to someone that you were not accurate or why you weren't accurate when you were talking to your, to your doctor. I don't want you to think that because a prior injury happened a long time ago that the other side is never going to find it. Most of the medical records now are computerized, they're digitized, they, they're optically scanned where people can actually search handwritten notes. It's very, uh, very sophisticated. So don't assume that because you had a prior uh, injury a long time ago that the other side isn't going to find it. The, the rule here is to be honest and to be accurate. If you're honest and you're accurate about your prior medical history, I can deal with that. I can, I can take that and weave it into the theme and the, uh, and, and the storyline in your case. If you're not accurate and it looks like you're withholding information, either intentionally or because your memory is faulty, it's very difficult for me to do anything. And what's important for you to understand is that there's no limit. They can go back decades if it's relevant 
to the injuries that we are claiming in this case. What you need to understand, this is very important that you understand this, is that insurance companies share data. There are computer programs that they use to log in claims. So for example, the claim that I'm representing you for will get logged into a computer. And if in five years you have another injury, they're going to pull your name up. They're going to pull your social security number up and they're going to find this claim. And just like they're going to find this claim five years into the future, they're going to find claims that you may have made 10 years ago. Now, obviously, they're getting a lot more sophisticated with this as the records become, uh, become more computerized. But it's very important that you always assume that they're going to find all of this stuff. So when we are getting a history from you and we are asking you about prior injuries, prior slip and fall incidents, prior automobile accident cases, anything like that, you got to be completely honest with us. And I describe it as a minefield. This is how I describe it to my clients. If you tell us where the mines are, we can navigate that minefield. If you do not tell us where those mines are, you know, the, the outcome is, is, is pretty obvious. So it's very important that you tell us with absolute honesty, you know, as best as you can recall, and you need to think about it, you need to take this seriously. Tell us about everything in your past when we're asking you those questions as it relates to this claim. Don't be embarrassed. Don't think that it's going to hurt your claim. There's very little that we can't you know, we can't repackage, so to speak, and portray it in a light most favorable to you. There's lots of things that you as the non-lawyer may think are harmful to your case, which me as the lawyer actually thinks it's helpful to your case. So just tell us, be completely honest about all of that and we will deal with it so we can get you the best possible outcome.